Okay, hello fellow traders. So we hope you're having a good weekend. Okay, um, today is 25th August. And uh, today we just want to prepare this uh, market outlook video for you because uh, I think a lot of you all shared that uh, you can't really follow our signals. So we thought, um, hmm, let's just uh, maybe just give you some insights into uh, the markets, give you some levels to look at uh, so that it can help you in your analysis. Okay. So, uh, now first and foremost, we like to start at the Forex calendar. So, if you read our book, okay, or you attend our course, you know that the Forex calendar is very, 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 very important, okay? You cannot stress the, uh, like this any further. It's very, very, very important, okay? A lot of people don't know that the uh, Forex calendar actually can be used to predict the market condition as well as the market movement for the following week. So it can, as you can see in the market, uh, the market outlook here, right, or rather this forex calendar over here, um, you notice that uh, it seems like a pretty mild week. You don't really have much, uh, you know, major data conferences. You know, BOJ, ECB conference. You don't see that. Okay, so for this very reason, uh, we predict that uh, the market is going to be trending. Okay, so what does this mean for you? If you predict that the market is going to trend, number one, it means that you should be taking with the trend trades. Okay, number two is you should be more aggressive. Okay, you should trade bigger positions. Of course, don't over, uh, don't take too much risk, but you can be more aggressive in terms of uh, your uh, your tighter stop loss. Okay, so that you can have a bigger position size. Okay, and also uh, hold on to your trades. Okay, this is the kind of weeks uh, that you can make a lot of money if you are very uh, you know, you're very committed to the trade. Okay, if you hold it through, uh, you know, like two days, three days, just give it time uh, for the market to move. Okay, so this is what we predict uh, for the market. Of course, we may be wrong, but based on our experience over the many, many years, right, this is something that uh, we found to be true. Okay, so the next thing we like to look at is, uh, we like to look at uh, DXY. Okay, in case you don't know, uh, DXY uh, stands for um, dollar index. Just a moment. Okay, let me just move this. Okay, yes, it stands for dollar index. So uh, it represents the strength of the USD. So uh, right now we are in the uh, day chart. Okay, so what we are seeing is that uh, it's actually very clear. Okay, price just closed nicely at support. Okay, right, depends on how you draw it or even draw it like that or so. Okay, but bottom line is that uh, price is very close to support. Okay, uh, personally, we draw it this way. Okay, price is very near the support, and you also have um, the swing low over here. Okay, so um, what we'll be looking at is probably signs of um, you know strength over here, or rather support, uh, in the form of you know a bullish candle over here. Okay, and then if if this is holds true, then the next level would obviously be here because this will kind of be like a double bottom. Okay. And uh, if you look left, you realize that uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, it's just your structure. Okay. So I repeat, we are looking at uh, this level to hold. 9727 to hold. And if this level holds, uh, we should be looking at 98.39. Okay. So also another gentle reminder that um, DXY is still in the uptrend. Okay. If you look at... Um, this is, this is high, this is low, this is higher high, this is higher low. Okay, even if uh, you see this as a, like a invert, uh, head and shoulders, right? This is the left shoulder. Um, this is the head and this is the right shoulder, right? Even if you see it this way, um, this neckline is not broken yet, okay? So for this very reason, uh, we don't want to be shorting, okay? Uh, when would we short, okay? When would we short? Uh, in if you want a short right, uh, believe that you need to see this level being broken very strongly. Okay, be careful of this level. So because uh, if you watch our previous video about uh stop losses, okay, uh, a lot of stop losses are definitely below this swing low. So sometimes market has a tendency to you know just whip out the um, you know the the longs the weak longs as well as to trap traders over here before it goes up like that. Okay, so if you're going to short, which we don't advise, make sure that price breaks rather cleanly, okay, and then just wait for a retracement up here. Okay, so how do you short? Uh, of course, uh, this one, either you wait for us to send a signal or you attend our course and, uh, you know, our course will teach you for the signs uh, that you should be looking at, at the levels. Currently, you're just giving you the levels, right? Levels on its own uh, require confirmation, require you to understand um, how is price reacting over there. Okay, so uh, the next currency we're we'll gonna look at is a uh, euro dollar. 
Okay, so uh, last week, uh, we drew these levels. Uh, I'm not going to go into full details about these levels again. But uh, as you can see that last week, uh, price was very nicely hold, held this level. Okay, and this was a very nice breakout. Okay, you see, kind of close below the support of uh, 1.1066, close below, and then boom, it comes up. Okay, so uh, as obvious as it gets, uh, price is kind of at uh, close to resistance. Okay, but okay this level over here because this is the previous swing high and um it's not really a double bottom yet we don't see any reversal signs right so you see this is a down this is a up and this is a down okay and now this is the first sign that this is you know you know the, the pattern is being broken this is a low this is a high this is a lower low now we have you know we don't have a lower high okay we we, we violated this structure However, okay, however, we haven't seen this yet, okay? We haven't seen the inverter head and shoulder or we haven't seen a retest of this, okay? So if you're going to go long, um, if you're going to trade something like this, right, be very careful because the market hasn't really confirmed uh, that this currency wants to go higher, okay? But we've, and you, just now we talk about DXY, we expect DXY to strengthen. If DXY is going to strengthen, right, then, um, what will happen to euro dollar because dollar is behind, right? If USD strengthen, that means euro will drop, right? It might drop further over here. So sometimes market, um, you know, it, what they'll do is because there's a lot of stop loss over here. Okay, if if you have not watched our previous video about this, our previous video said uh, that there's a lot of stop loss over here, and true enough, market uh, violated this. Okay, violated this just to collect the stops. Let me just clean this up first. Okay, so sometimes what market likes to do would be uh, it took out the uh, it took out the stop losses. Now the big boys are in, it goes back to its trend again. Okay, so if you are looking to buy here, be very careful. Okay, I'm going to reiterate, be very careful because market has not showed uh, a full reversal. Okay, in fact, if you look at uh, this uh, structure instead, right, this is a down, correct? This is an up. Then, uh, if you look at the big picture over here and you ignore this, correct? You just look it like that. Um, you cannot fully say that the market has actually, uh, you know, reversed. Okay, it really depends on how you draw, and uh, this requires your experience, which is also why we say um, we prefer that uh, if you're going to long, be very careful. Watch out for signs. Okay, watch out for signs here. If not, then uh, we are still bearish and probably visiting the uh, recent lows over here. Okay. Okay, the next currency pair or rather uh, commodity we're going to talk about because uh, you guys love this uh, will be gold. Okay, so uh, then again, if you have not watched our previous video, please go watch it because uh, we drew these two levels. Okay, just nice uh, price was supported here. Okay, we drew this zone when price was here. Okay, so it just show that um, over time, if uh, you practice uh, what we teach in our course, you should be able to find uh, support and resistance level like this. Okay, very easy to understand. Okay, we, we have like a four step process on how to draw these levels. Um, no reason why you can't do it, okay, if you put in the time. So, anyway, back to the charts. Um, we look at this over here. Um, okay, price, uh, there's a lot of stop loss over here, definitely. This swing high, um, definitely some here. So, so um, now price is kind of you know, it's at resistance, but uh, I don't like this movement here. These two bullish candles, you know, they are very strong. So to ask me to short into uh right, this is definitely uptrend. Okay, this is definitely uptrend. I mean, you, you, it's, it's as clear as it get. This is uptrend, right? If you look at the bigger picture, you see this is uptrend. So asking me to short into uh you know like very strong bars in the uptrend. Um, to be honest, not too keen. Okay, not too keen. Oh no, let me just. What have I done? Uh. Just a moment, did something stupid. Okay, so, uh, okay, just delete all this. Okay, yes, yeah, so anyway, back to uh, this. We just, okay, back to the, so price and resistance now. I'll be more keen to buy um, the support over here if it gets back here. Uh, rationale is because if you look at the departure over here, the departure of the candles is very strong. So this indicates that uh, there's a lot of unfilled orders here. Okay, you look at this zone compared to uh, this over here and this, okay, 
you realize that the buying is the strongest over here. Price only stayed for like one, two candles and blast off. Over here, it stayed for like one, two, three, four, five. You know, here it is like this one is like neither here nor there, two, three, four, five. This is a very, very strong zone. Okay. So definitely long bias for this. Long bias. And if you want to buy the breakout, then uh, it will be better to take out this. Uh, it better to be trading something like this. Make a clean breakout. Wait for the retest. Look for a comp uh, kind of like confirmation here. And then you take the trade. Okay. Okay, I think the last pair, uh, because uh, we are, I mean, we're working very hard and uh, we need to rush out now. But I think the last pair that we probably want to talk about would be maybe a um, dollar yen. Okay, if there's a trade that uh, you really want us to analyze, uh, we can always make another video. But um, for now, okay, for now, we'll just uh, record this. Okay, so um, dollar yen. So this is the um, uh, the H4 chart. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. So, okay, sometimes trading, uh, just follow the bigger picture you're in a downtrend okay so we are in a downtrend and you have this very big candle over here okay so definitely we are bearish okay one look you know you're bearish question right now is uh, are you too late to short okay definitely we feel that you're too late to short okay because you look at this level the uh, same as the uh, just now go the departure here is very strong okay very strong and what happens about this is uh you have a swing low here, okay? And if you watch our previous video about fixed support level, this is a fixed support level, okay? So naturally, there's a lot of people put the stop losses here. So when you have a lot of stop losses here, which is uh, actually, uh, you know, where the market always goes, then this whole entire zone, okay? This entire zone here is very strong, okay? So we will be a bit hesitant to short, okay? Very hesitant to short. Uh, what we want to see if we short would be uh, just like go. We want to see a nice breakout first, and then we want to see uh, you know a retest. Okay, uh, let's say this support holds right. Uh, where can we look at next? Uh, I think it's quite obvious. Okay, it will be the recent high over here. If we draw it this way, one point zero six seven five. Okay, but um, you should know by by now that uh, this this is a swing high, and naturally there's a lot of stop loss here. Okay, and we are keep saying this over and over and over again. Okay, price likes to go to where the stop loss are. So if this were to be supported, we don't see price to be um stopping here. We see that it will come up here first, stop people out, right? If you have a trade and you put your stop loss here, it's very dangerous, and then it'll come back down. Okay, after it stop you out. Okay, just like kind of like here, you just pump it up across all this um, you see, all these highs, pump it up. Right, people will trade breakouts or people will short. You are both dead. Okay, both of uh, whether you buy or sell, you lose money because you don't understand that the market always goes to where the stop loss are. But if you understand that the market always goes to the stop loss, then you'll be watching. Okay, this swing high over here. Um, let me see whether I can catch a fake out over here. Okay, so this same pattern is happening on your um USD Japan right now. Okay, so uh, trade safe. Uh, next week should be a very easy week. But that doesn't mean that you can, you know, uh, ignore risk management um, practices, right? Anyhow, trade, okay? Stick to uh, our signals if you're not too sure how to trade because we have been making money for seven consecutive weeks, okay? And we'll try our best to make it eight weeks, okay? This has been the longest streak we have so far. Uh, we cannot be making money every single week, that's for sure. But we'll do our best, okay? Um, who knows, we might even lose money. But as long as you manage your risk, you always come out ahead. Okay, so this sums up this video. It's been a bit long, this video. But uh, if you have a currency you'd like us to analyze, right, uh, we will create another video because right now, um, we need to have a life, okay? We're working very hard. We want to enjoy the weekends just like you, okay? But um, we figured out that this video would help you a lot. So comment in the uh, comment section below if you have a question. If you currency you want to analyze and uh, definitely hit the subscribe button, like the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, I mean, seriously, why not? Uh, we keep giving so much value. Okay, so subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the markets, in the channel. Okay, till then, see you in the next video.